What's going down, everyone? Welcome to another edition of John Amos Archives, a special free agency edition. And, uh, you know, ever since 2004, I got to be honest with you, I have been pretty disappointed with the Philadelphia Eagles as far as free agency goes. It just seems like, as far as, first of all, the wide receiver position goes, it seems like we've just neglected giving Donovan that big weapon. We gave him, you know, T.O., who I'm not going to take anything away from T.O. He's, I think he's the best wide receiver in football. You know, we gave him T.O. for one year. The Eagles had a regular season record of 13-1. and one. They lost their last two games with their C, their uh, not B, but their C players. So, you know, over the last uh, few years, I have been disappointed with uh, the Philadelphia Eagles free, a free agency. That being said, taking us into 2008, I have to give the, the Philadelphia Eagles a solid grade A this year. I mean, they just went above and beyond, even with their just their two signings that, you know, they went out and signed that, uh, that uh, um, as far as I know so far. Just, just, just the fact that they went out on the, the first or the second day and Asante Samuel went ahead and visited the, uh, the, the, the combine or the, uh, you know, Lincoln Financial Field, and he never left. He, uh, he left with a, a six-year contract for 50 something million dollars and uh, that's just a huge 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 signing for the Philadelphia Eagles absolutely um, monumental and uh, the, the impact that this guy is going to have in the secondary is just going to be fantastic I mean he had 16 picks over the last two years I say pound for pound he's probably the top two top three cornerbacks in the league maybe one behind Champ Bailey he's a lot younger if you were going to ask me one uh, cornerback would you like to have I would pick this guy. Now, the question becomes, what happens to Sheldon Brown and Leo Shepard? My theory is, you, you got one of two things here, and uh, we just cut to Keo Spikes. That's going to free up an additional $5 million in the salary cap, so, you know, that's pretty good. Um, one of two things here. The first thing is, uh, offer Leo Shepard in a package deal with a second or third round pick, and go ahead and go sign a Calvin Johnson. Um, that's the first option. Sorry about that. Coke and a smile, man. I, I got. I'm a little under the weather, so I had to uh, hustle and get my my Coca-Cola. Um, so either package. Uh, I say Lido Shepard because I think he'd be more the more enticing pick, and a second or third round pick, and go out there. I'm sorry. Did I say Calvin Johnson? I meant Chad Johnson. Duh from the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, the guy is, is, is begging to be traded. So, you know, I think that that would be a great idea. Or, if we don't want to go that route, if we want to keep everybody, I say move Sheldon Brown into the strong safety role. The guy already hits like a, like a safety. I mean, he, I think he's a, he's a bigger hitter than Dawkins. I mean, if you go back and watch that playoff game against the Saints a couple years ago, I, I don't think Reg, uh, Reggie Bush is still recovered from that hit that he gave him. So one of two things, move him to strong safety. You got Dawkins at free safety, and in the backfield, Shepard and Asante Samuel. That's dangerous. And then keep Constantine, you know, for rotation roles and stuff like that. So, uh, and then you got Clemens or Clemens. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. Another big uh, signing for the Eagles. He had eight sacks at a, in a backup role last year. I'm really impressed. I watched some video of this kid. He looks like he's going to do some damage and make an impact. Um, so not only those those two signings, but um, you know, John Amel was on the way to work uh, probably three days ago, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday, and I'm listening to ESPN radio, radio, and this whole time regarding the Randy Moss situation, you know, I've been pretty, uh, I've been pretty um, distant about it because I thought really that if he didn't go to the Patriots, that the, the, the Dallas Cowboys were gonna make a strong push for him. So anyway, you know, I'm listening to the, or I, I see the news that that, that night on ESPN that uh, he re-signs with the Patriots, and I think to myself, you know, well, that's, that's, at least he didn't go to the Cowboys, you know, that's good. At least he didn't go to the Cowboys. And then I'm going to work the next morning, and I'm listening to the ESPN radio, and they tell me that Randy Moss w was imminent. He was a, a, a hair lash away from uh, signing with the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, apparently, you know, they were, he was going to sign, and then New England stepped up their offer a couple more million dollars, and he signed with New England. And man, what a letdown! I, I almost I almost broke my phone when I heard that because 
For the first time, I thought to myself, man, the Philadelphia Eagles, they finally did it, man. They did everything they had to do. They, they tried to go out there and sign the number one receiver. They tried to do everything they had to do. You know, and you can't fault him. The guy just didn't, you know, he just wanted to go back to the Patriots. And who can blame him? I mean, the Patriots were 18-1. and one. I think, actually, he would have had more success with Philly. I think the Patriots' time has come and gone. I think him and Donovan McNabb and Westbrook would have been unstoppable. But that being said, you know, let's not hesitate and let's not, you know, let's not, let's not fake the funk. You know what I mean? Let's not get Donovan a C-plus or another B receiver. I, I don't want Jerry Porter... You know, I don't want Javon Walker. I don't want any of those guys. I want three people. <laughs> and this pains me to say this. I want Terrell Owens with a good attitude, which is impossible. So then I really only want two people. Randy Moss, can't have him. Or Chad Johnson. I'm sorry. Yeah, Chad Johnson. Chad Johnson. I want Chad Johnson, man. That guy is disgruntled. Give me Chad Johnson. Go out there and make it happen, Andy Reid. But, uh, yeah, Philly Eagles, I just wanted to say you guys get a great A this year. Thank you so much for, uh, for, for at least attempting to get Randy Moss and signing Asante Samuel. It really shows me that you guys want to go out there and win one. Um, I think we're going to be pretty dangerous next year. Moving on to the next subject really quickly, New York Mets. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did somebody see a Barry Bond sighting? All I'm saying is if I, I will totally embrace Barry Bonds. I don't care what I've said about him in the past. You know, you could go back to my uh, my uh, Patriots stole signals video. You know, I think that was a genius move. You know, I don't care. I, I, I've seen my combined teams win one championship when I was eight years old when the Mets won the World Series. Other than that, I've been asked out. So if it takes, you know, a chemically enhanced Barry Bonds to, to push the Mets over to the World Series, then so be it. I'll buy a Barry Bonds jersey just to piss everybody off. So... That's it on the sports front, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I do have some exciting news. Um, we, uh, John Ammo and company, um, John Ammo and big brother Jay Ammo, it's actually his project, but got a big movie in the works. So, uh, you know, there's big things happening on the scene. And there's a very good chance that you all will see John Ammo in his first featured film produced by my big brother. And there's some big-time actors uh, being involved in this, not your uh, local Joe Schmo. So my brother's out here in Los Angeles for a couple of weeks. He's plugging away his movie, and uh, he's have, he has some really, really uh, good feedback. And, you know, he's this close to doing it. So there's almost, uh, there's like a 75% chance it's going to happen. And if it does, that's right, you will see John Ammo in his first feature film next year. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated. It could be my uh, the break that I need. Anyway, this is uh, John Ammo reporting to you from the archives. I'm going to come back and try to do my, my brothers in town. I want everybody to meet Jay Ammo. It's going to be John Ammo and Jay Ammo coming at you one of these days really quick. I'm still going to do the New York Mets full analysis pretty soon. And I still got a burial video for those bandwagon fucking New York Giant fans. But I've been so busy. And, you know, I got so much going on. Barry Bonds and Asante Samuel and Randy Moss and Chad Johnson, man. I... I just can't talk to you guys right now. You guys ain't got nothing for me. You ain't got no work. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to have to get put on the back burner for a little while. This is John Ammo, Archives. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Have a great day.